The Brazilian Navy's Marine Corps, CFN, announced the receipt of four new Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTV. These vehicles, part of a larger order from the United States, arrived in Rio de Janeiro and were immediately transported to the Marines Logistics Center in Parada de Lucas for operational testing and evaluation. Designed to test the advanced features of the JLTV, such as its intelligent independent suspension system that adjusts to different types of terrain, the Pedra de Fogo track at Fort Santa Barbara in Formosa, Goias, was utilized. This operational track, built by the Marine Infantry Engineer Battalion in collaboration with the Marine Armored Infantry Battalion, tests the vehicles with various obstacles, including parallel logs, alternating pits, longitudinal logs, rocks, and slalom courses, ensuring comprehensive capability tests. These armored vehicles, now sporting the same paint scheme as the first batch received earlier this year, are intended for use in law enforcement operations, GLO, peacekeeping missions, humanitarian aid, and civil defense support. The Brazilian Navy's Marine Corps plans to integrate these vehicles into their armored vehicle battalion, enhancing their operational readiness. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, is an advanced and versatile military vehicle, designed and produced in the United States. It is used by several countries, including Belgium, Brazil, Lithuania, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Poland, Romania, Slovenia, and the United States. The JLTV is distinguished by its blend of agility, protection, and firepower. In terms of armament, the JLTV can be equipped with either a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. The vehicle's advanced armor solutions offer complete protection, shielding occupants from small arms fire, improvised explosive device, IED, blasts, and artillery shell splinters, ensuring survivability in hostile environments. With a curb weight of 6,400 kilograms, the JLTV balances its robust armor with impressive mobility. Capable of reaching speeds up to 120 kilometers per hour, it allows for rapid deployment and maneuverability across various terrains. This speed is complemented by a notable operational range of 480 kilometers, making it suitable for extended missions without frequent refueling. Designed to accommodate a crew of four, two in front and two in the back, the JLTV measures 6.2 meters in length, 2.5 meters in width, and 2.6 meters in height. The vehicle is equipped with a range of accessories to enhance its operational effectiveness. These include mine-resistant seats for additional protection against under-vehicle explosions, an automatic fire suppression system for increased safety, and essential amenities like heating and air conditioning for operations in diverse climatic conditions. Additionally, the JLTV is equipped with a nuclear, biological, chemical, NBC, protection system, ensuring crew safety in environments with such threats. The adaptable suspension system of the JLTV allows for adjustments according to the terrain, further enhancing its ability to operate effectively in varied and challenging environments. Another four JLTVs are expected by the end of 2024, completing the Brazilian Navy's contract with the U.S. government to acquire a total of 12 units. These vehicles, capable of being armed with 50 caliber machine guns or 40 mm grenade launchers, are designed to offer a balance between the agility of a Hummer and the explosive-resistant armor of a light tank, a concept developed in response to the needs of the U.S. armed forces during urban conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan.